This audiobook is for educational purposes and is for personal use only. Contact Notes of Edward Billimia, Message from Pleiades, Volume 1 The only thing limiting the progress of the Earth human, is the Earth human himself. Sam J's, Extraterrestrial Being Preface after 11 years of investigation into this extensive UFO contact case taking place in Switzerland, and years of testing of the physical evidence produced, such as UFO photographs, recorded sounds of the spacecraft, metal residue and ship's landing tracks, I have decided to publish more of the elaborate contact notes for your study and evaluation. These notes were never intended for public release, and they have much information of a very personal nature to certain of the individuals involved. Also they are very voluminous and could not possibly be squeezed into one book. Thus we have purged out parts of a personal nature, dialogue of lesser interest, and conversation not of general concern to all. The contact notes have actually been translated several times by bilingual scholars with different backgrounds, but there have always been problems with the translation, accuracy being critical. There are two basic steps to translating written information from one language to another. The first is transliteration, changing the words. The second is interpretation or rephrasing of the converted words to most accurately express the original idea in proper form in the new language. Since there frequently are several choices for substitution of words, some conveying different emphasis and some conveying modification of the meaning, it is important that the translator have a considerable knowledge of the original idea being expressed when he is making his choice of words. The second step is more troublesome because here the transliterated words must be rephrased in the new language to most accurately convey the desired idea. There are always several ways to rephrase them, and so a good understanding of the basic idea is also critical. One Christian translator chose words and rephrased in the interpretation step according to her understanding in good Christian terms. The student of theosophy interpreted in terms of her own metaphysical concepts, and the phrasing came out quite differently. The university scholar tried to interpret in terms of modern scientific thought, and that was different too, because the communications were imparted to the witness in concepts well understood by him, who was neither Christian nor theosophist, nor scholar, but a farmer with a limited education and much practical experience in the school of life always experienced at a very modest income level. His concepts are framed in the understanding he has developed based on these experiences. We have tried for years to agree on one or another of the translations, and finally came to accept this present version as the more accurate conversion into English. Of course, for real accuracy, the contact notes should be read in their original German. This translation was made by a young German college student who spent a great deal of time at the mere home, living with them and observing the various witnesses in their daily lives, and seeking very careful explanations. His translations were then checked and approved, as he proceeded, by both the others at the home and by Edward Meir himself. This may be about as accurate as we can get at this time. We have other problems in publishing these notes however such as the restrictions on release of information by both the extraterrestrials and also by other witnesses and friends involved. Our purging of these notes of personal and other sensitive information mentioned in the original notes necessarily results in sense discontinuity of thought, but we have sought to preserve as much of the information as it is possible to release publicly at this time. We have carried forward the original paragraph numbering within each of the contact notes in order to facilitate all future research. It also provided a limited measure of the amount of sensitive information in those notes that cannot yet be released. When the notes first started, after the first contact with this extraterrestrial team on 28 January 1975, Edward, Billy, Mia sat down to write what he could remember about the contact and then discovered that it was coming through to him rapidly, including the whole dialogue, word for word, just as though he had recorded it. 
Later he found that the dialogue was in fact recorded by the extraterrestrials and was being mechanically slash telepathically played back to him from a computer-like device on the spacecraft, and he was receiving it in a form of automatic writing. When Mir was loaned a typewriter, the Pladunes asked to borrow it for examination, and Billy took it to them on the next contact. They gave it back to him a few days later saying it was a primitive machine, and then Mia found that when he sat down to hunt and peck some notes, a contact message came through almost as rapidly as the writing, on the typewriter, working it with only one finger on his single hand, in a kind of automatic typing, again transmitted from the computer aboard the ship. Still later, somebody gave Mia an IBM. Selectronic electric typewriter and then the notes transmission was shifted to it in the same way. At that point he was typing nearly 60 words per minute, with one finger, under mechano slash telepathic control from the ship. We have recordings of this automatic typing. As the level of imparted information improved, the extraterrestrials began informing me of some things he could not reveal to other people, things that he needed to know for his own understanding only. Then he discovered that some of the dialogue was being left out of the text on the automatic transmission. The Pladunes told him that they were withholding some of the sensitive information for his own good. What he did not remember could not be compromised. He had one of his first serious arguments with them over this and obtained a concession on their part. The contacts were not all simple dialogue. There were real arguments, discussions, humor, agreements and even some outright threats, and we have been able to preserve examples of all of these for you. The format for this presentation is chronological in the order that the contacts occurred. The notes were usually written up within hours of the contact and another person would read them and witness and date the report. The initial screening of these contact notes was done in Switzerland by the witnesses there. If you feel that not enough information is given, or that proofs are being withheld, remember that those people involved there have their own proofs and need no other assurance of any kind. They are not impelled, nor do they see any need, to prove anything to anybody else. They have enough threats, harassment, and intimidation now, and do not seek to add to their own burden. We have persuaded them to share this much with you for your own information, to accept or disbelieve as you choose. They are not the least bit concerned about, your choice, nor are we. After all, you classify your own self in these matters. Nobody else does. The contact notes open with a personal statement by Mir about how it all began for him. We tackle this contact notes part of the Pleiades report with a great deal of trepidation and no inconsiderable fear. We could deal with the objective physical aspects of this case scientifically and could draw conclusions from the testing and our experiences during the investigation. Reporting the subjective aspects of this case is much more difficult. Realizing our deficiencies in knowledge, experience, and expertise in these matters of spirit and being, we feel totally unqualified to judge and even to report these messages to you. There are aspects that we agree with, and there are some aspects that we have very good reason to accept but at the same time there are other aspects with which we totally disagree. Our disagreement however, does not make them any more or less valid. They are as they are, and we each see them in our own way. We have tried not to filter these notes for you so that you may judge for yourself. Here then is our presentation.